Grim, by FM Games, is a retro FPS-style TTRPG where humanity has long left Earth and spread across the stars. Explorers eventually discovered the planet Gamma Rho Iota Mu, or Grim as people would call it, finding the very first sign of non-human life form, and an emerald obelisk surrounded by ruins so old it could be older than the universe itself. Within a year, Grim sprawled across the cosmos through the obelisk, absorbing the life forces of every being on a planet, killing human colonies and leaving wastelands filled with horrifying creatures, operation to destroy the planet has failed, leaving only one option, sending a team below the planet's surface to destroy it from within, many have already failed, but then you arrive. To simply put, Grim is just a TTRPG in the popular subgenre of four guys doing shit jobs in extreme situations, to play Grim, you need a coin or a d6 dice, or any dice really because you are only looking for two results, head, or tail, or a 50-50 chance, and that's because when you throw your coin in combat, you will be doing one attack per coin toss, and you will be tossing a lot of it, perfectly emulating the frantic shooting action you get in many boomer shooter. This is probably the fastest a fast-paced TTRPG could ever get, the only way this could get faster is by playing a computer game. Here's how things work, your characters upon creation, has 30, health point 30, armor point 25 feet, or 5 tiles of movements, and 2 actions, you do not spend action to move, most of the time, you will be using your actions on attacking, and you can improve your character by adding points in combat skill too. Adding points in health gives you more max health, which can be refilled via some environmental structures, ripping enemies apart with your combat gauntlet, or just at the end of the session, each point in health also gives you death resist, letting you resurrect on death and giving you a chance to come back, this is per session. Adding points in armor obviously gives you more max armor, this get depleted first before your health but you can only get armor by scrounging around the game world or enemy, so they can be hard to come by, each point in armor also gives you a reflect, which can reflect damage right back at the offending enemy and leaving you unharmed, this is per session. Adding points in speed not just makes you move faster, but also gives you more action, thereby letting you pump even more bullets in the general direction of an enemy, can you see why the fast coin tossing mechanic is kinda needed here, you will be firing a whole lot of bullets, and the only reason why it's not advisable to put all points into speed is because some of the monsters will absolutely smash your shit. Finally, adding points in damage gives plus 5 damage to your weapons, all of your weapons, from the tiny pistol to god killing fusion cannon, each point in damage also gives you a sure shot, automatically dealing successful hit on an enemy, this is once again, per session. There's also stats on role playing skill, each point in a role playing skill basically adds one reroll for you to pass a roll, but in general the rule on role playing is very light, they do give you some bonuses in combat so that's nice. Basically, if you know how boomer shooter works, you already know how to play this game, and speaking of boomer shooter, you are probably wondering what guns you can get, on character creation, your characters can pick three non-mythic weapons, and you get a fourth and final weapons later on, there's six types of them, each using different ammo types, small ammo, shells, large ammo, plasma cells, grenades, and souls. Small ammo weapons are usually ammo efficient low damage weapons, ranging from pistol to revolver to submachine gun that are good against weak but numerous enemies, shell weapons are shotgun of increasingly larger sizes, that blasts increasingly larger holes into enemies, Large ammo weapons somewhat excels at dealing damage at long range with gigantic bullets, hence the name. Plasma cell weapons are usually powered melee weapons or just really weird guns, grenade weapons delete grid square, and soul weapons are magical weapons that can only be utilized if you have killed something to rip their souls out for power, the more you kill, the more you can kill. Besides the three weapons, each player also has the martyr combat gauntlets for when you are just out of ammo or need some health juices, and also, not fitting in any of the category, there's the GF40K Titan gauntlets, which are basically gauntlets stuffed with guns that can fire almost any ammo types. It has a range of 1 because good luck aiming this shit. You can also suplex alien demons with its alt fire, oh right, did I mention alt fire, every single weapon has it, they can range from something practical like just dealing more damage, to consuming all of your shotgun shells to fire a spear of buckshots that annihilates anything in the way, some weapons are just ridiculous like that. And if that's not enough, you can dual wield same weapons for more damage in a single action, and while you need two consecutive successes to make the attack hit, you can basically dual wield anything you want for insane amount of damage, from dual pistols to dual submachine gun to dual shotgun to dual miniguns to dual rocket launchers, anything is possible if you are willing to fire all of your ammo for it. And speaking of ammo, it's easy to get them, you just have to ask your enemies nicely for it, much like any boomer shooter, 
Your enemies are your ammo pinatas, the amount drop depending on their size, like an enemy that occupy one tile drop one tile of ammo on death, and that one tile of ammo can be used to refill 100% of an ammo type that you are using. That might sounds like you basically have infinite ammo to use, but as you get deeper into Grim, enemies will get tougher and you might find yourself having to conserve some ammo, you can be tougher, faster, and attack quicker, but your aiming skill will always be 50-50. But of course, this is a boomer shooter TTRPG, so you can always try to find something on the 20x20 battle map to aid you, like using marks that can grant you invincibility, or double damage, or unlimited ammo, or using environmental objects like supply crate to give you stuff or trap to lure enemies in, or just use the environment itself and your role-playing skill to find leverage, secrets, and other things to fight back against the Grim. The GM, or the Watcher here, can really do a lot of things to make things easier for the players, or harder for them, or to put it another way, it's about making your players feel like the Doom Slayer or some guy in Call of Duty. And of course, you weren't the only one sent down here in Grim, there's other people down there, help them out, and they might just give you something you could never find anywhere else, like a mythic weapon, weapon of truly epic power. Most of them also have absolutely unspellable fucking names, like Jesus Christ I can't say any of this even with my actual mouth. Mythic weapons are apparently called mythic weapons because nobody can remember them with names like these and that's basically it on Grim, a coin tossing boomer shooter style TTRPG about whether you have enough firepower to keep God in hell from fear. I just found it very funny that people have been trying to play Doom on all sorts of electronic devices, and then FN Games came in and said you can totally play Doom on paper, which is exactly what Grimm did. Though you probably still want to play this on some kind of virtual tabletop system because otherwise it's hard to account for the sheer amount of enemies and assets on field, and also counting all the ammo. Anyway, you can get it now on itch.io, that's all for now and I will see you all next time. Hello there. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.